Bamboo Lab is releasing their brand new H2S, as seen right here, and it is going crazy today. It releases today. I'm gonna take you back a little bit, do something different for this video. All the other videos are gonna be reviews and all that good stuff. Today, I'm gonna to show you a quick unboxing. We're gonna do a review video at a later date, but stay tuned later in the video where I fast forward a couple weeks and we talk about what I really think about this printer uh, if you don't wanna wait for my review video. Releasing today, the H2S, nice work, Bamboo Lab. So we're gonna start right here. So I got the outside box off. You do that by pulling some little tabs on the outside of the box. It's super easy. First thing I'm gonna do is try to take off this foam. And I noticed one thing, there's actually stuff in the top, so I probably should grab that. We got the giant book, which is awesome. The box of stuff here. This looks like a supply box is what they call it. Now I did get the, um, the H2S with the laser. So I haven't played with one of the laser models. I, my H2D doesn't have a laser. I haven't played with a uh, laser model yet as of filming this video. I probably will go backwards and show the unboxing first and then do a full review or a talk of the printer after that because there's a lot to that. I'm just gonna get this top foam off. There's some cardboard attached to it, but that's okay. And then I'll take off the little piece that was on the very top. And then uh, there's around the sides, just some pull tabs like this. I'm gonna pull them because that's how we unbox things. Like that. And I just, uh, you know, I'm actually filming the unboxing of this because I haven't done an unboxing video in a long time. So there we go. So now you have your outside shell. Of course, Bamboo Lab does a, a pretty good job. I, I think they do a really good job of packing their stuff. I've had one thing come dented before, but they actually replaced it. It was a back panel of my very first X1 Carbon. They replaced it and they've upgraded the shipping stuff since then. We're gonna get this base off here. Just trying to open it up. As you can see, I'm kind of doing this in real time because I'm by myself. I don't have another person to help me lift this. I'm gonna get this thing off the foam base and on here and I'll be right back. Now that the box is off, we have it in a bag. How I got that off, I probably should have just showed it, is I lifted one side, I pulled out the foam set it down, lifted the other side, pulled the foam out, and then pulled everything out. So that's how I did it. Now we're in the bag state. I love that they do this just in case it's, you know, the box gets water damaged or something like that. Um, they always put their stuff in bags, which I think is a great idea. The more protection we have from these things, the better, in my opinion. There we go. Sorry if that's super loud. So that opens up like that, it just folds around. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to get this out of the plastic as I did to get it out of the box. I'm gonna lift, slide, set down gently, right? And then lift, lift, slide, set down, set down gently. They do have a giant piece, a giant desiccant package uh, like they did in the H2D. So I'm just going to pull all the tape so you can see the tape here. I'm gonna pull all of the tape out real quick. Now that I've loosened all the tape pieces, got them ready to go, I can take the top off. The top is where the uh, top glass sits. The top is out, you can see it right there, and it's nice and shiny. I need to set this aside because there's stuff inside that we need to get to. So I'm gonna set it right over here. Oh. <laughs> some foam on the inside of the printer, more foam on the inside of the printer. I'll find all of that and we'll get it all out. And there's a box here in some foam that looks like this. It says accessory box. Next steps will be uh, clipping some zip ties on the inside real quick, unscrewing the AMS. So we need to do that on all of these printers. The AMS usually gets locked in along with the build plate to the bottom. That way it's all secure when they ship it. They ship it all compact, which is really cool. So I cut the top zip ties open and that's good now. And what I need to do now is go find all of these uh, little holes that they're surrounded by uh, the red and unscrew all those security bolts. There's a bunch of them in here. As you can see, there's four that you see right here. So I got all of those uh, done. There were six, four in the front two in the sides. That means my AMS here is loose. I can grab a hold of that and pull it right out the top. 
and we're going to set that aside as well. So that's your AMS2. Um, these are super awesome. I, I love the AMS2. It's, it's a big improvement over the original AMS. So now we see that there's uh, some more inside that we need to get out. There we go. We'll get that out of here. And then there's um, some build plate screws that are locked down right here. There's a little red circle. Every time you see one of those, you need to take a secure screw out. So as you can see, I got all of the packing material and screws on the inside out. This is in the manual. Uh, if you look through the manual, it'll go through everything very nicely for you. It'll show you where all the screws are, all the foam is, all the tape inside is. So that's pretty cool. One thing that we need to do next on this machine, because it is a laser machine, bend this around so you can see it. And there's a red guy right here. This is the air assist screw. It says we need to take that out uh, carefully and slowly so it doesn't fall in the machine. Kind of looks like it's red and rubber on the top, but it is uh, a bolt there, or a screw, however you want to call it. So I'm going to take the top glass. I'm going to toss that on uh, backwards because why not? Why not do it backwards the first time live here? <laughs> Pretty much live. Um, I'm going to do very minimal editing to this open boxing here. Now it says we're going to connect the AMS. Give me that sweet, sweet peel. How about a front peel? Uh, inside the AMS with the laser version is a laser exhaust hose. Looks like small PTFE tubes, ventilation uh, stuff in there. I haven't opened any of this, uh, obviously. It looks like air assist for the back so we can screw in and get our exhaust, our air. If you're using this as a laser, you want to exhaust this outside. Get this out of here. You don't pump it into your room. It's not good for you. Anything you laser is not good for you to breathe. We'll just say that. So don't do it. Inside the AMS, there's a little foam. So I'm just gonna pull the tape and the desiccant out like this. There's your desiccant packs. All you have to do is take the outer plastic off this desiccant and then it'll be active and you just shove it down and where you got it from inside of the machine right in the back of the machine like that make sure you take the plastic off or it won't do anything and i see one more on this Woo! and i also see one on the inside that is that is on there so we're good with the ams um it's backwards here, so I'm just going to set it up on the top like that. So this, I might cut this down um, if this is truly the one we're supposed to use. It doesn't need to be this long, but for this video, we're plugging it in. Now you want to grab the uh, cable. This one does come in the accessory box. I think they give you the long parts in case you want to put your AMS not on top of the printer. So if you want to move this, you have a decent amount of space to like put it on a rack above or whatever you want to do. In the accessory box here, spool holder, cutting module in my case, because we have the laser version. We have a toolbox. So it comes with rubber screws for the chamfer fan. Comes with a bunch of extra pieces here, a privacy cover for your camera, laser cover lens, a bunch of different blades, probably for the uh, cutting module. There's some blades in here. And just a bunch of stuff here, laser homing access, weeding tool, scraper, nozzle wipers, wiping pads along with another 0.4 hot end right there. I'm gonna have to learn how all this extra stuff works. I don't have this stuff yet, so I haven't used it. Power cables in there, uh, laser module, looks like the 10 watt Bamboo Lab laser module, the cutting module. So the next thing we need to do is plug this safety key in. This is a little safety key that plugs into the back. If you pull this, it will not work. Uh, it comes taped to the back right above where it goes in and it, it's just a little key. It sits in here, it only can go in one way. So if you kind of turn it, you can find it where it goes in and then push it. Now I have it turned around, we're gonna plug it in. I'm gonna bind it to my account on the Bamboo Handy app. And then we're gonna go through and do all the calibrations, the setup, um, all of that good stuff. This thing's gonna run through a bunch of stuff to get it all set up. I'm gonna leave the unboxing video here because as part of setup, it'll walk you through everything right on the screen. And I think you got a good idea of what kind of came with this thing. Like I said, the laser version comes with a cutting module, or mine did at least. So that's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Um, the toolbox, the uh, the 10 watt uh, dialed laser there. It did come with this right here at first. I thought it was an air assist. 
Actually, this is an emergency stop button. So you can plug this in to that key area in the back and you'll be able to e-stop it. So if you're having issues with your laser or you're seeing a fire, which shouldn't happen on this with due to the safety stuff, but you never know, right? Um, you can e-stop it real quick, the machine shuts down. So there's your e-stop. We have mounting hardware for the exhaust. I don't wanna pull all that out, but it's all in this bag right here. And they give you a, a tube here uh, it's a flex, so it expands out and you can run it outside your window uh, or to a ventilation system. You already have something like that. One thing we didn't go through is the supply box. Let's do that quick. So if I pop that bad boy open, immediately it looks like this inside. It looks like it comes with a little brush, a couple of different pens. So it looks like a red and a black pen, stainless steel, little coin, other to burn on, doggy tag coin papers. It looks like material pins. Yep, they're magnetic. So you can put your stuff down, like if you're using paper, you can actually stick them down to the build surface there and it'll stick down. So inside of here, we have our laser bed. That's this one right here. And what these are gonna do, um, these little guys will go in here and, and um, you can kind of put them in where you want them to and it'll hold your lasered materials up off the bottom of this. So it'll keep it up off the bottom of that. That's really cool. There's some wood, it looks like. I can't tell what that back part stuff is, but it looks like more materials to play with the laser on. So this must be a sticky cutting base. This is a light grip side and a strong grip side. You can peel this off. Your material will stick right here. And then you can use that, that cutter, that tool they gave us to actually cut your material right on that. That's really cool. So for this video, I think I'm gonna uh, close down the unboxing. I'm gonna fast forward to like, present day right before the release and let's talk about this thing uh in the present time fast forward to a uh, future gym right now i'm back a couple weeks later it's been about two weeks two and a half weeks since i unboxed this i muscled it back over here i do have pricing now so first let's talk about the experience experience has been bamboo lab experience for me that has almost always been good um this thing is no different if you're looking by you know you're looking for a 340 by 320 by 340 printer. I believe that's what this is. Um, this is this is a great printer. It's going to be bamboo lab fast. The AMS just works. Everything just, it's easy. The ecosystem is great. You have everything from the slicer to the material to the models on Maker World to Maker Lab, all the cool stuff you can do there. But as far as this printer goes, it's been really like all of my other ones. It's been good. I noticed some things um, that I didn't talk about before. Like there's no glass on the sides. It's like a plastic, you know, on both sides and that's okay. It does have that dark top. It does have the dark front. It's just like my H2D, except for a single nozzle. You get a little bit bigger build space, which people are asking for. In my case, they sent me the laser one, full disclosure. I haven't played with the laser yet once on this. I am gonna do a video, I think, about the laser going forward. I really wanted to talk about the 3D printing part because that's what I think people are gonna wanna go after. I don't really have a great place in this space to ventilate this, so I need to work on that. I will, I, I need to get to that. I need to play with it because it is a feature of this printer. First and foremost though, this thing is a 3D printer. It does a great job. It comes out with great prints. I'll show those in a video that's coming up soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, good job. You made a bigger printer and it works really good. <laughs> so let's talk about price. This thing is releasing today. And at the time of the release, you can only get the two combos. You can do an AMS combo with no laser, or you can do the laser combo. The AMS combo with no laser is gonna be uh, $14.99, and the laser version that comes with everything you just saw today will be $2,099. Now, give it a little bit of time, they are gonna release this without the AMS for $12.49. Um, so that's pretty cool. But that is the pricing, it's going on sale today. So use my link in the description below. Grab yourself one if you need a bigger printer and uh, hopefully you love it. It's definitely worth checking out. A full review video is gonna be coming soon. I wanted to do something a little different for this one. Jump on it, use my link in the description, help the channel out if you do. I appreciate you watching. Go check out all the other videos that are releasing today too. I'm sure they're gonna show all the other stuff. That's why I kind of wanted to make this one different. So you guys have a great one. We'll talk to you next time. And don't forget to check out this one right here. Uh, that was a good one as well.